In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the design and gluing up of several multi-layer laminate boards, such as this, or this, using the various thin and ultra-thin wood strips that were sliced on the AccuSlice system and shown in a recent video. These are the various wood strips I'll be using for this project. I'm using a total of 16 different wood species, all of natural colors, for this project of various thicknesses. The wood strips were sliced on the AccuSlice system in thicknesses ranging between 8,000 of an inch thick and 50,000 of an inch thick for these projects. I begin by selecting boards with contrasting colors or shades between the boards. I want the adjacent boards to be distinctly visible from one another, and I also want them to be of different thicknesses between the boards, such that thicker boards will be sandwiched between two thinner boards. This gives the most interesting patterns. After I select my pattern of boards for this project, I'll assemble them into a bundle and then I'll take them to the glue jig to be glued up to make the final boards, as shown in these two samples of boards ready for glue up. In part one of this video series, I made these two knife handles with eight layers of contrasting woods in a straight pattern. For this next set of knife handle projects, I want some scales for knife handles that will have straight patterns but between 12 and 20 wood strips to produce a half inch thick laminated board for the, for the knife handle scales. Also in part two of this video series on making knife handles, I made these 25 layer laminate wood knife handles which were sliced at an angle to produce these unique patterns in the layers. For the next set of knife handle projects, I want to produce some more of these two inch thick multi-layer laminate boards and then cut them in an angle to produce more of the angled laminated boards for knife handle scales. However, I want these boards to have twice as many layers as in the previous video. Next I'll be gluing up some laminated boards with symmetrical patterns of the boards. And these boards will be about one inches thick and contain between 25 and 75 wood layers. And I'll be using these laminated boards to produce segmented feature rings such as this, this larger ring, and I use these segmented rings as feature rings in my project such as these segmented bowls or this segmented egg. Finally I'll be gluing up some laminated boards with symmetrical patterns to produce some miniature versions of my Dizzy Bowl projects. These laminated boards will be about three inches thick and contain between 120 and 250 strips of wood in each of the laminated boards. After these boards have been glued up, discs will be cut out and these will be arranged to produce my miniature Dizzy Bowl projects. I've designed and arranged my first three sets of laminated boards for the first knife handle project. Each of these boards will contain between 12 and 18 pieces of wood that vary in contrast and color between the various layers. Also it varies in thickness of the boards, my thinnest board being about 10,000 of an inch thick and the thickest board being 45,000 of an inch thick. So these boards are now ready for glue up. So let me take them over to my glue jig and we'll start the glue up. Okay, I'm ready to glue up my first set of boards and I glue these up in uh, a jig I call it the glue jig. This is my glue jig system used to glue up my laminate boards. It consists of two two inch angle irons and five rails and these uh, angle irons are right on the rail on a channel and the purpose of this is so when I'm clamping this front rail doesn't tilt or rock. If it tilts or rocks you're not going to get parallel sides on your board. So by having this right on these rails, when I clamp it up, I'll get nice straight boards. I'm using epoxy for my glue up of my laminate strips, and it's important I don't get uh, uh, epoxy all over the, uh, the jig. That's why I have this massy tape covering a lot of the parts of my angle iron. And then my board that I'm going to be gluing, I actually mount in a cradle of wax paper. So I have a wax paper that covers both my angle irons, and then when I put my pieces in there, I just put my front rail up against it, and my 
if the boards get glued, I don't get glue all over my, my jig. It keeps everything nice and clean. So now I'm ready to start gluing up my laminate boards. Well, the epoxy didn't get messy, so I'm using wax paper covering up as much as I can you know, as far as the cradle from my parts being glued up and even on my glue up jig. And I'm using the, uh, the West epoxy system again, part 105 and 206, and I made up three batches. This is a, a 1 to 5 mix. And I'll be spreading the glue on the boards uh, with a, a paintbrush because it's just faster. I like to glue uh, both sides of the board other than the first piece. Make sure everything covers completely. And this is another 10,000 thick piece of uh, red wood, or red heart. Again, very thin, very fragile. These pieces up. Make sure they're all set down in there good. And this can go on my jig. Get this out of the way. Now, since my board is thin, I can use these spring clamps to clamp it in place. And just get these clamps that are somewhat snug, but not too snug that it can't move. And then I put clamps continuously. Alternating, putting uh, this one down, putting this one high, alternating so I get more equal pressure along the whole, whole width and length of the board. So clamp high. And I'll let that dry overnight. This is my two inch thick board, has around 60 layers. I'm not sure I'll get all 60 glued at one time, but we'll see how far we're going. I have like 45 minutes to get it all glued up. Let's see how fast we can move here.
from just about exactly 45 minutes. Just set those all up. Here I'm just using a block of wood to push the boards down and make sure everything is seated down flush on the bottom rail. Since this laminated board is going to be about two inches thick, the spring clamps won't work for this application. Therefore I'm using some uh, C clamps. I could also use parallel clamps or bar clamps, but the C clamps are much easier to use. I'm now ready to clean up my boards that have been glued up and a lot of excess epoxy running off the top and bottom and I want to square these top surfaces so the boards are perfectly flattened and smooth. I usually do this on my joiner. I got all my boards here cleaned up on the joiner planer uh, to remove the excess epoxy and get it down close to the uh, actual wood in the piece. And this is a close up where I stand right now. This is the two inch board for some knife handles that I'll be cutting at an angle. Now I'll give this, give this additional clean up on my edge sander to get the edges square and cleaned up and then to my board sander to make sure it's not as perfectly flat and parallel. This is the final board after planing and running through the edge sander and the drum sander. Now I just finished the cleanup on all these laminated boards. This is my two inch thick board, uh, for the, which I'll be cutting on angles for making my slanted knife handles. And look into the close up of that. This is another board I made for making some feature rings. You see this is symmetric, top to bottom. And again, this is about a half an inch thick. Then I have three boards I made here for knife handles. Again, a half an inch thick on these boards. So now I'm ready to proceed with my projects. This concludes the production of my laminated boards. And I'll be using these laminated boards for a number of future projects. I began with a bunch of thin uh, strips which are cut in the AccuSlice system. I cut a, a total of 16 different varieties of wood. And I cut these boards in, th boards in thicknesses ranging from 10 thousandths up to 45,000 inch thick. And then I arrange these into a pattern of contrasting colors between the layers, assemble it into a final assembly, which was then taken to my glue jig and glued up using epoxy cement. After that, the boards were passed through my joiner planer and my sander to clean up the boards and end up with these finished assemblies. Now I'll be using these finished boards for a number of projects. I have some boards here with about 15 layers each, and I'll be using these to make some knife handles, much like this knife handle which I made in a previous video, except these new boards will have twice as many layers as this knife handle had. And then I made this board which is two inches thick, and I'll be using this to cut at an angle to make some angled boards to give me patterns such as this, and again making knife handles very similar to this knife handle made in the past, but again this knife handle will have twice as many layers uh, in the handle.
Next I made a, a laminate board, which is again half inch thick with around uh, 12 layers, very fine uh, detail and uh, symmetric top to bottom. And this board will be used to make some miniature feature rings for a miniature bowl I'll be making in the future. This will be a segmented bowl with segmented rings. And finally I'll be gluing this larger segmented board which contains almost 100 layers of wood uh, of the various thicknesses. And again, it's a symmetric pattern. And then this will be glued up to produce some miniature Dizzy Bowl projects. And I'll be showing all these projects in future videos.